Hey, what's up guys? So today we're bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be a boost solenoid replacement on an F10 535i. So this is going to be the N55 engine. The reason I'm replacing my boost solenoid is because of um, I was getting a boost too high. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and walk you through the whole process and then uh, yeah, so that way you guys don't have to pay someone, save yourself a little bit of money. So these are the tools you guys are going to need today. You can just use the regular ratchet. We got this electric one just because it e makes life easier. Uh, you're gonna need a pick tool. You won't really need an extension. And then you're gonna need a 5.8 socket and a 10 millimeter socket. And then you can either get one of these. Let's see if it focuses. You can either use one of these or a flathead for one of these parts that we're gonna have to take off. So, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is take off this screw, this screw, you really don't have to, but it makes it easier. So take this off and get it out of the way. For that, you're gonna use the 5.8. So go ahead and take that off real quick. All right, guys, once you take off this, this bar right here, get it out of the way. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is take off this 10 millimeter right here. And then you're gonna wanna take this line off by pressing on the sides. I don't know if you guys can see, press down right here and then just push up. After that, you wanna use the pick tool to take off this little tab. You just pull it up with the pick tool and then just pull out right here. Uh, you can also use a pick tool for this. So basically there's a little tab in the back. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a little tab in the back. You press it in and this, this little clip right here just pops off. So we're going to go ahead and take all those off and uh, show you guys what else you have to do. One thing I forgot to mention guys, you can either use this tool or the flathead to actually take off this little bracket that goes on the inlet. So you can either use a flathead or you can use this little tool right here. Alright guys, next thing you're going to want to do is disconnect this uh, sensor back here. So I actually just have my uh, a cone air intake. If you had the whole intake box, then you would just disconnect the intake box from here and then just take this piece off right here. So yeah, after that, just pull this up. Um, you can pull this out right here and this little tube will just come straight out. So this whole piece will come off all at once. Alright guys, once you guys take the whole piece off, next thing you're going to want to do is dis actually disconnect the boost solenoid. So you guys can see it's right here. I'm zooming in right now. I'm trying to get it focused. So that's going to be the plug for the boost solenoid. You're just going to want to unplug it. Once you unplug it, there's going to be one bolt. You guys can see right there. And there's another bolt right under it on the bottom side. So just take off those two bolts. And then you're going to be able to just pop off the, the whole boost solenoid and just unplug those two lines that are on it. Alright guys, so this is the old boost solenoid. Right here goes the screw on top that you guys were looking at and the bottom one is right under. And then the two lines go right here, one in here and then one on here. Which is basically going to be this one right here. And a little one that goes on there. Right there. So once you get the new one just put the new one back on put those screws back on the lines back on and we can start assembling everything back together all right guys so here's the part number just in case you need it this is actually like a newer version of the boost solenoid this is the new one and then the old one just looks a little different so yeah we're gonna go ahead and replace these and start putting everything back together all right guys so I think I forgot to mention the two nuts on the actual boost solenoid are both gonna be uh, 10 millimeters so once you do that, uh, the two lines that I showed you guys, this line is actually going to go on this tube right here. 
and the other little line is going to go on this tube right here so just assemble all that and then we can start assembling everything else back together um, and then we'll see if we still get that code all right guys so once you guys put everything back on just make sure you don't forget to put uh the sensors and the lines back in for example this one right here uh this tube with the clip this line right here the map sensor back here and the actual sensor on the boost solenoid so yeah uh, once you guys get all that back on you can go ahead and uh take the car for a spin and test it out all right guys also we don't see many f10 or m55 videos on youtube so uh if you guys want to see more videos on that go ahead and let us know in the comments below uh we'd like to make more m55 videos for you guys so yeah if you guys like this video just make sure to give it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video